Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains. Behind me, you can see the trailer and the van. Be sure to watch the end of the video for more information. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we are here in uh, downtown Orlando, a historical section. And what we're doing is if you can look down through here, you'll notice how deep this goes down to the backyard. Historical section, you can see the cobblestone of the old brick street here. And what's going on is that they've got such a deep backyard. You can see how deep that is. It's probably, what, 20 feet rise from that backyard up here to the street. And of course, when it rains, let alone a you know, big northeaster or a hurricane, that yard floods with water. They also have a walkout basement. So that floods dramatically. What we need to do is, of course, put a sump pump back there and pump that water all the way out here to the street. So we went ahead and tunneled the sidewalk. You can see it coming up right there. The line is going to discharge right here by the driveway. Here's the street, right here by the driveway, so that it doesn't go into the neighbor's yard. Rather, it runs out into the street. So when we have it all installed, I'm going to go ahead and show you how well the Zoller M98 really works. Because again, this is a good 20 foot rise, about 140 feet that we're going to push that water. Let's just see how well that pump really works. So we had to trench through some of the old driveway. You can see the old bricks and stuff down here. Um, good thing we had the trencher. You can see where it's cut through great big stone. Um, you definitely need a trencher on some jobs. You could do it by hand, but you'd end up with the pick. Um, they're just cleaning out the debris there. We're going all the way back to the back back there where you see the mound of dirt, and that's where the sump basin is going to go. And in fact, looks like Chuck's already got that down in the ground. He's pretty quick. Oh, yeah. So we've got a sump basin going right here, and then we're going to do a little collection back to the back and let that water be picked up and brought over to the sump basin. And then we're going to pump it, and now you can really see how high that's going to go. So we'll, we'll give that Zoller M98 the big test, and we'll show you guys how well it really works. Using a trencher is by far the fastest way to dig a trench. Yes, you could use an excavator, but boy, is it a lot of work and a lot of time. The trencher makes quick work of digging a trench to 300 feet and can easily be towed with your truck, van, or car. All you really need is a small utility trailer that can easily haul away any excess soil that you need or it can bring all your materials and gravel to the job site. We're gonna set up the pit, and we're gonna go ahead and cut this nipple off. This is one of the inlet lines from our collection in the backyard. A good sharp hacksaw makes that real quick and easy. <laughs> I've already made the other, we've got two collections, and this was done with a four inch hole saw, so we've got two lines that come in from the back, and they're gonna come into the pit. I also went ahead and drilled two inch discharge for the inch and a half PVC. So now we're going to set up the Zoller M98. This is a half horsepower pump, very powerful pump. Start by putting male threaded inch and a half adapter down into the port. Screw that on as tight as you can. I've already made the cuts. This is a small riser that's going to accept our check valve. And I drilled a 3 16 inch hole. We're going to glue that up. Good amount of PVC glue. Push it in and down and hold it because it tries to work its way back up. It's a liquid at first, but it seals real quick. Next, we're going to put the check valve on. And the check valve only allows water to flow one way. You can see the arrows pointing up. That's held together with no hubs and stainless steel clamps. So we'll put that on. And then using your nut driver, this is a 5 16 inch bit, tighten this up as just as tight as you can make it with your drill. Nice and tight. Check them all. Now we're going to make the next riser. This is coming up to the 90. This will be our discharge as it comes out of the sub basin. So let's go ahead and clamp that one on and again tight as your drill can make it perfect <clears throat> next we're going to put our 90 on and but we're going to do this when we put this down into the basin so we can adjust it to accept the distance so next we're going to go ahead we've already set the pump in 
and you can see our discharge line we just need to make a connection between here and there start with gluing up the fitting good amount of glue <clears throat> push that on and hold it for a second and now we're going to hook up the discharge and it is coming off at a little angle but that's okay as long as we can hook it up it's all be good perfect just hold it together just for a few seconds that stuff welds really quick <clears throat> so that's together so let's take a look <clears throat> you can see we've got a Zoller M98 this is a half horsepower pump it's got the float switch as water rises up it'll kick on that switch you hear it clicking we've got a small riser here at the bottom down here at the bottom is a small riser right here and then we've got a check valve only allows water to flow one way real important because we are coming up this hill and it's going to have a lot of water in it when it uh, shuts off we don't want all that water to come back down and into the pit and just make that pump run continuously so you can see from the sump basin we've come out just a couple of inches or so I like to use a no hub here to take the tension off of that pump so we put a no hub here this is a flexible no hub cub just like on the uh, check valve it's hard rubber it works great no water is going to leak tighten up those clamps as tight as you can now we can continue with our inch and a half we're switching over to two inch right over here and we're going to go two inch all so the way we're up laying out hill. the pipe and you can see what we do is we actually glue it all together before we lay it into the trench it's a lot easier than trying to you know lay it down through the trench lift it up each time we basically glue the couplings, screw it together, or excuse me, push it together and twist it, and that just puts our couplings together. We're also using deep couplings. Notice, see my finger, see how deep the coupling is, rather than the small ones. Small ones are only this size, but the deep ones are quite larger. Makes life a lot easier, a few pennies more, but really good. Okay, so using the two inch, it's a little different on the discharge. We're still gonna glue this. This is a two by three, inch adapter but this is schedule 40 remember this is schedule 40 let's glue that up and you'll notice it's a really small little coupling it makes it really hard to make it secure pop it on there this is thin wall PVC it's actually going to slide inside you can see the coupling we're going to use the whole coupling it's almost exact fit but that's what we're going to use we're not going to glue that instead we're going to put a set screw in there to hold it in place. I don't know if there's enough power in this battery, but... Perfect. And then we're going to put our grate on the top. And I'm using a square. This has got a 3-inch or 4-inch opening. And it's got a, a, basically a 5-inch drain on the top. And again, this is the discharge. We're going to set that in with a set screw as well because that pump's pretty powerful. It could blow that right off of there. Let's just secure it. Perfect. So we added two catch basins as collection. One, you know, real close to the pit here and another back there. There's also a French drain that runs across here. Remember that's the, the, the perforated pipe and we've wrapped that with cloth to keep the water or keep the sand from coming in. So as it rains, we've got immediate surface water collection from the catch basins and subsurface water as it comes into the system. We can always add more uh, to go further back. Okay, the pump just kicked on. Oh yeah, it's kicking that out there real quick. Looking real good. So that pump's just about ready to kick on. And when it does, <laughs> we'll go out front. It's a long walk up there. The pump will easily shut off before I get back there. But let's go out there and take a look as it fills up. A lot of water in that basin from the, you know, the bottom of that pump to where the, the, the valve kicks on. Probably 10, 12 gallons of water. So it's a lot of water, but it's still not enough to fill up the discharge on a single cycle. Um, I don't know how much water it holds, but it holds quite a bit to go 150 feet. We're almost there, about ready to kick on. 
There it goes. And you can see how quickly, see how quickly that water goes down? Let's walk out front and see what's going on. We'll let the camera run. You see these guys are back filling, looking real good. It's a long trip down this hill. Simple to backfill, just use your rake, pull it back on the trench, leave it kind of high so that it settles, and everything should be really good. Again, I don't know if any water made it out here yet or not because this is a long ways out here, but let's take a look. Yeah, not yet. It's going to take a couple of cycles to get that water clear up here to the little basin. And then what we did was we went ahead and just made a little trench to bring that water over to the driveway and let it get out onto the street. So as that goes through another cycle, we should see water come out here. Well, you can see how we're pushing it all the way up that hill. Comes out of there quick, doesn't it? So half, half horsepower pump. Remember, we're pushing up 150 feet, 20 foot head, maybe 25 foot head, and that water easily came out here to the street. We're just using a garden hose, but during a big rain, this water is going to pour out of here. Hey, just a quick note, if you're here in the Florida area and you'd like for Apple Drains to do your install, uh, I urge you to get on our estimate schedule. We are extremely busy and with each rainfall, you know, we get more and more calls. So if you're here in the Florida area looking for a great contractor, go to the website, use the service sign up sheet. I'll put a link here at the, in the description box and go straight to it, help you out. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. There goes those vans with the trailer. That's Apple Drains, and you know that job's gonna get done 100% correctly. Hola, mi nombre es Candela. Si crees en algo, te aseguro que lo vas a lograr.